Hey everyone, this is Sean, and as you can see by the way that I'm dressed, in today's video, I wanna talk about how you can use the Surface Pro 4 as a professional and for business. So let's dive right in. The first thing I wanna show you is how you can use the Surface Pro 4 as, believe it or not, a cash register. You're gonna to wanna to go to the Windows Store and download an app called PayPal here. So with PayPal here, Basically, you can get a free little card reader. I'm sure you've heard of Square Card Reader. If not, it's pretty cool. It's just something that plugs into your headphone jack and allows you to take instant payments. So for example, let's say I wanna charge a customer $4, okay? All I have to do is just swipe my card and then it'll detect that the card has been swiped you can charge a tip and then boom, you're ready to go. So whether you're selling merchandise, whether you're a contractor, no matter who you are, what you're doing, if you need to accept payments, this is definitely the way to do it. Okay, whenever you give presentations or go to a client site, you always wanna make sure you're prepared with an adapter. And of course, something like this multi-out adapter will ensure that no matter what kind of cable your client has, you will be prepared. Now, in addition to this, what's even more cool is to not use an adapter at all but rather to go wirelessly, to be able to control your surface wirelessly, to be able to give presentations uh, without being tethered to any sort of wire. Okay, not just to present and project your surface screen wirelessly, but being able to use your surface as a digital whiteboard, okay? So now I can use the pen and start to write on my surface and you can see that it is starting to also appear here on the board. So I can draw uh, different pie graphs, I can draw uh, perhaps different squares, and I can uh, show different things, and uh, this really makes it useful to use your surface as kind of a, a way to communicate really nicely. And of course, this is using OneNote, and my surface is completely untethered, no wires whatsoever. Okay, in addition to that, PowerPoint presentations. You can actually just go ahead and annotate uh, right on the slides and you can uh, draw different things and they will actually show up. So you can see over here, uh, I'm using my Surface uh, Pen as a laser pointer. So you can be walking around, you can be giving a presentation, you can be showing results. And as you are walking around with your Surface, not having to be tied down to a specific location, you can really show off and be the boss. In order to fix this dilemma, we have to think about things in a different angle. Are you ready? We just have to look at it from another perspective and all of a sudden our problems are solved. So in addition to taking along a regular adapter, I would definitely take along a wireless adapter to plug in and it works fantastic with the Surface Pro 4. Okay, so the next thing I wanna talk about is using your Surface at a workstation, such as with a computer, monitor, keyboard, mouse, etc. Now on the high end, the professional end, you can get the dock design for the Surface Pro 4 that sells for about $200 and that'll include all sorts of things such as uh, multiple displays out, ethernet, USB, it'll charge the surface at the same time. Uh, really nifty device, uh, $200. Now if you wanna stay on the low end, uh, what you can do is actually get these individual adapters. Uh, you can check out my video description for more information. But you can see here we have the adapter to be able to plug into the surface for the display. And we also have a USB hub with an ethernet port built in. And uh, what that allows you to do is to plug in multiple devices, keyboard, mouse, webcam, printer, uh, you name it, and also have access to ethernet if you use ethernet. So now you can see I've got the keyboard, I've got the mouse, I'm using my Surface next to my monitor, so my Surface behaves as a, an extra monitor. Now what you can also do, because the Surface has a kickstand, I can also rotate my Surface and have it be upright. And using it upright may be better for stuff like uh, reading documents or coding or anything that's uh, a long way. So that's another possibility as well. Of course, they make all sorts of mounts and uh, stands that you can use your, for your Surface when you have multiple screens. Now, if you didn't want the high end, but you didn't quite want the budget end, there is something in the middle for less than $100. Uh, this is called a pluggable USB dock. And I actually showed this in action working with my Surface 3, and the Surface Pro 4 is more than capable of handling this. It's got USB 3.0 ports out on the front. It's got 
um, audio jacks, it's got microphone jacks, Ethernet, HDMI, DVI, uh, VGA using the adapter, four USB ports on the back. So this is also a pretty awesome option as well. Again, if you want top of the line, the, the Surface Pro 4 dock, the Microsoft dock, that's where it's at. Uh, but you have a ton of options as well. Okay, so of course, you know, you can also type out meeting notes. So I can do one, uh, meeting notes, uh, two, uh, action items. Uh, I can also start to use the pen to draw um, perhaps a pie graph. I can also take a one, draw one, two, three different items for each thing. Um, I can scroll and um, I can draw various other options as well. And I can just kind of keep on going and take meeting notes during the whole meeting until the very end of the meeting. Now, what you probably did not know that I was doing is I was also recording the meeting as I was taking my notes. So let's listen in really quick. Okay, so of course you know you can also type out meeting notes. So I can do one, uh, meeting notes, uh, two, uh, action items. Uh, I can also start to use the pen to draw. Um, so you can see it is actually following one, what I am writing. And Yeah, so it, it is actually following every step of the way. It's automatically scrolling through as I'm writing, as I'm uh, saying these notes. You can see it's just going from step to step. Pretty cool. So, so that was pretty cool. So that was the recording. It actually went through step by step. I also go into this in my student guide as well. Not only can you record the audio, you can actually record video as well. So this is really handy if you're wanting to take really detailed meeting notes or even at a conference perhaps. Uh, very cool. Okay, so I showed this feature in my student guide. Uh, I also showed a feature for document scanning in the student guide, but Windows 10 has actually removed uh, document scanning from OneNote, but I wanted to show you something that I've been using instead. You can actually still use an app on your phone uh, called Office Lens, and this works for all different types of phones. So let's go ahead and use Office Lens to scan this document that I have here on the desk. Okay, so after it scans the document, uh, I can go ahead and just save it to my OneNote. So now you can see in my OneNote, it is actually the document that I just scanned has appeared. Uh, I'll zoom in so that you can kind of get a, a sense of the, the resolution. Uh, this was just this, this document here that I just scanned. Not as convenient as having it directly integrated into OneNote. I'm not sure why they removed that feature, but still useful nonetheless. Okay, so now let's talk about entertainment. So now uh, you're at the end of your workday or perhaps you're traveling. Uh, let's say that you are traveling on the, uh, you know that you're gonna be taking a flight on the airplane. There is this movies and TV app that you can open. You can actually rent movies to download to your Surface so that when you're offline or you're on the airplane, you can actually go in, you can rent movies. The other thing that I like to do when I go to a hotel is I like to bring my adapter. I also like to bring an extra HDMI cable and you can actually uh, just plug this to the back of the TV, the, the HD TV that's in the hotel, and you can just uh, use your Surface to stream movies or games to the hotel TV. So that's another thing for if you have any spare time, but I know all of you, none of you have spare time. You're super busy, super productive, super hardworking. Okay, well that was my video on using the Surface Pro 4 as a professional and for business. Do check out my video description for links to some of the gizmos that I show in this video. Uh, if you like this video, please do share it, uh, like it, subscribe, and thank you very much for watching.